to the tea table. Today we're going to look uh, at a really cool deck that uh, got 32nd at the Kyoto Champions League event this past weekend. I believe there's almost 3,000 players at the event, I'm pretty sure. So the way they run their events are, it is all best of one. So this person finished, I believe, 11-3 and three to get 30 seconds. Uh, place in the event, they played Lugia Blissey. So there's definitely a lot of cool things going on here. Um, I know Natalie might be looking at this because there's Blissey in it. And there's not a mill tank, but Blissey is uh, pretty sick as well. So we're going to look at this, and you can tell it differs a lot from regular Lugia list. And we're going to jump in. To the deck list, you can see it's only three lines, which is pretty crazy for decks nowadays. The trainers don't even complete a whole line, the second row. And we're going to talk about it a little bit, and why I really, really like this list. So we're going to start with Lugia V. Obviously, Lugia, whatever variant, you know, certified, the deck everyone's aiming for, as you saw the past couple regionals. This is what you want to be hitting. So we got Lugia V. Read the win. Discard a card if you do draw three. Not even bad. Like, if you got turn one Lugia, eh, you know, it's not as bad. Aerodive 130 may discard same play. Probably don't want to use that one. Uh, but then we got Lugia V Star with Tempest Dive. 220 for 4, you may discard a stadium in play. That's fine. You're doing 220, it's got a lot of HP, pretty good. And then you got that sick V Star power, only one of those a game. Summoning Star during your turn, you may put up to two colorless Pokemon that do not have a rule box from your disc file on your bench. Now we're like, okay, cool. We're but now we know what we're putting on our bench. That would be Archaeops from Silver Tempest. Primal Turbo, once during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two special energies and attachment to one of your Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. And then to Speed Wing, 120 for three, not even bad to attack with if you're facing a mill tank or just you need a one prize attack, get those prizes, last prize out there, pretty good to attack with. Now we've seen Lugia paired with Amazing Rare Raikou, Amazing Rare Yavetsa, Kyogre, we've seen it with Stoutland, we've seen it with everything. Well, uh, my friend here went with Blissey V. Which is really a perfect combo when you think about it. So let's take a look at Blissey. Natural Cure whenever you attach an energy card from your hand. Heal all special conditions. Pretty good if everybody's playing. Like I talked in my previous video about Miltank Stall. Um, the Articuno decks or Zekrom stuff trying to paralyze. Pretty great. And then Blissful Blast. Temple Study for each energy attached to this Pokemon if you did any damage. Attach up to three energy cards from this part of this Pokemon. And uh, we will run out the Pokemon before we talk about more of the strategy with Radiant Greninja. One of those your deck. You may discard energy. You must discard energy to use the ability. Draw two. And we can attack with its sec uh, its attack, Moonlight Shuriken. Discard two energy. It does 90 to your opponent's Pokemon. So this does combo with Blissey to get energy to the discard pile. So what does this deck do? So if you open with Blissey, you're go that's great. You can just attack with Blissey. Blissey getting on there. Blissey, powerful Pokemon. Doing a lot of things. You know, getting a lot of damage in. But... With the powerful uh, combo of Lugia Archaeops here. So you got your Blissey. Alright, you go first. I'll attach a V-Guard energy, whatever. You evolve Lugia. You do the thing. You're like, alright, I'm going to search. I'm going to use two Archaeops. And I'm going to put four powerful color energy on my deck. On my Pokemon. Or I'm going to put some double turbos. I mean, you could just... Every energy, not counting modifiers like double turbo, increases your damage by 30. At least. Even if, like, with that powerful energy too. So, you got your Blissey. You're like... Alright, let's get uh, first Archaeops, double turbo, capture. So you're doing 40, 70, 100. So you're doing 80 with the other thing. And then you use a second Archaeops and you're like, let's get powerful Aurora. So you're doing 80, you're doing 110, 140, 160. And you're just attacking out of nowhere um, to your opponent. Putting on a lot of pressure and putting on a opponent with a lot of HP that is really hard to knock out, and the great thing about this is if you just start with Blissey and you get a slow start, you can just attack with Blissey. Combos well with the Greninja to discard those energy. And like I said, if you have to attack Greninja, you do play two Aurora and a Wash energy as well. Um, this is really cool. I like their strategy there. Let's just hit attack. You know, we got a lot of fancy stuff going down sometimes. But this person said, nah, 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 we're just going to attack. Attack, attack with Blissey. And you know what, Lugia, if I have to, and then the other two to clean up. So that being said, let's look at the trainers. You will notice there is no quick ball on this list. Very interesting choice, but it definitely worked out for him. So uh, let us see here. We got the four evolution incense. Search today for an evolution point put in your hand. Obviously, get your Lugias, your Archaeops, you can put them in your discard pile. Combos pretty well there. We got the two lost vacuums. You, uh, in order to play this card, you may just put another card from your hand in the lost zone. Choose a tool or steam and put it in the lost zone. So maybe your opponent has a path to the peak and play. 
and you need to get rid of it before you play yours, perhaps. You know, or just they have like a Cape of Toughness, you know, something to modify HP, Big Charm, whatever. Or just an annoying stadium as well. Or you want to set up for later move. Great card. Um, I really like that. We got the four Ultra Ball. Discard two cards from your hand. Use this. Search for Pokemon. Discard those Archaeops. Pretty easy there. We do have the four Pats of the Peak. So it's pretty crazy. You got the four Pats of the Peak. Um, and you got the Greninja. But obviously, you don't always need the Greninja. So it's one of those things. I think if they give you a turn for Greninja, um, you draw the two cards. It's, Greninja is a great starter like to draw for a first turn or two. And then you drop the Path. And you don't really care if you can use it because it means your opponent it probably isn't doing anything. And Pats of the Peak is pretty good card. Let's be real. Then we got two bosses order. Switch one of your opponent's bench bug once they're active. We got four Marnie. They'll shuffle. Put your hand on the bottom. You draw five. They draw four. Obviously, Marnie, Path, Prey. If we're playing against me or whatever, very good combo. Imagine you do that, and then you Archeops on your Blissey that's hidden for 200 damage, and your opponent's just like, what, what happened right now? I had it in my hand. Now it's gone. We got the four Professor Regents. Obviously, you want to discard your hand. Put an energy in the discard pile. It's fine. Got to discard those Archeops. Got to have draw, draw, draw. And we got the four Serenas. You can discard up to three cards from your hand. You have to be able to discard at least one. Uh, if you do draw until you have five. So it helps put those Archaeops and Energy in the discard pile. And it is a mini boss order. Uh, bring up a V. So you got six ways to basically knock out Vs. <clears throat> if you have to, to take those last couple prizes, which is pretty sweet. And then you have eight cards that are supporters to put your Energy in or Archaeops in the discard pile. Then you got the Marnie for a disruption because Marnie Path. Get them. 85% of the time, pretty much. Then we got the energy cards here. You have 17 of them. Pretty, pretty standard-ish number there for a Lugia deck. You got the four double turbo. Got us two colors, but you do 20 less. That's really okay, because when you're attacking for so much damage, um, it doesn't really matter. You got the V-Guard energy. Pokemon this card attached. You takes 30 less damage from Vs. There was only one, because you cannot stack it. Because they said that's probably a bad idea. I'm going to put four V-Guard energy on my Blissey and just be like, you can't ever knock me out. So good idea on the card design team to not let you <laughs> stack more than one. We got only two Auroras, obviously, because you only really need a four Greninja. I mean, you can attach and discard a card, which is really cool, to help you discard another energy or the Ocup. So just another way to discard um, to get your strategy going, which I like. Without the Quick Balls, we do need the four Capture. When you attach from your hand, search for base upon your bench. We got the four Powerful. It's very powerful. As long as it's attached to your Colors Pokemon, you do 20 more. So every single one of those you put on a Blissey adds 50 more damage due to the 30 for the energy and 20 for the effect. Then we got the Twin Energy, which obviously does not work on Lugia or Blissey, but does help you attack really easy with Archeops. Um, you just put one of those and a Double Turbo, I'm sorry, and a Powerful and you're doing 140 pretty good there. And we got the one Wash Energy, a Water Energy for your Greninja. But it has a really cool effect. Prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon done to the Water Pokemon this is attached to. So you just pop it on there and let it sit for like Sableyes um, like that. And so they can't put 12 damage counters on it or any other effect attacks if your Greninja is active. So they can't paralyze you or do some weird sleep poison, you know, etc, etc. They cannot Amazing Rare Uvets all it and all that cool stuff. So I know it's a pretty quick deck profile. Um, I'm really, really excited. So, I mean, with this only being like an 8-9 minute deck profile, we're going to play a couple games here. Um, and we will be right back to see how we do with Lugia and Blissey. Alright, let's get a game in real quick with Blissey and see what we can do. So, hopefully we uh, represent this person quite well and don't embarrass ourselves so here we go we get to go first we get to open blissey patch of the peak i mean which the blissey deck maybe let's see what they are uh they are going to be mew well i guess we're playing a patch of the peak i guess we did get archaeops too We will, in fact, Ultra Ball. We'll get a Lugia. We'll draw Path and we'll pass. So, you know, worst case scenario, we're knocked out and the game's over. Best case scenario, this Path to the Peak is really good. So, I guess we're going to find out. Pwn sitting, Pokemon catcher in. That's fine. 
Tails, anyway. Rotom folding. We'll see what... Clearly, they might not really have anything, I guess, if they're going to play Rotom Phone. Um, yeah, their hand might not be, like, too good, right? I don't know. We'll see if they attach, I guess. They didn't attach, huh? You think we can draw another patch to the peak? Well, I guess we'll try to kill him. Right? Here we go. Wow, that was bad. Okay, we got Greninja. So we're doing 40, 70... Oh, we win the game, I think, right? 40, 70. Oh, we just can't have to hope the other one's in our deck. Let's go for it. So we have 40, 70. 130, 50, 70, 90. 40, 70, Let's go! Let's go! We dunked them, you! Let's go! Well, I'm not going to get better than that, so um, that's the end of that video. Let's open a couple packs while I talk about this tag real quick. Um, so that was really neat. Uh, that's the power of the deck, right? We ha That's why you have the vacuum. So imagine if we even drew another path after that, right? Like, we'll open these two packs we got here. Um, like, you got, I path turn one, right? That's why you play four packs. Turn two, drew the vacuum, get to do my thing. Get Greninja with the capture. Boom, draw what we need, Lugia, put our Archeops on the bench, able to use ability, search for two, we literally did 190 damage on the second turn, and we were going to get the energy back. That is how powerful that deck was right now. That, and we open Archeops, that was really insane, I think that explains how I would say the deck could be, imagine, like, don't forget, they have one game, over there in Japan. Whoa, now these are busted, what the heck? Okay, so imagine you get two pack. you get two packs. You get one game. You do that. Look at that. So, um, with that being said, I recommend this deck. Obviously, that one game. I'm going to go play more off um, video now because it's super cool. It just does one thing, and it's very simple, and I really like it. Shout out to the person. Um, I will link their Twitter below, as I have said. And uh, when I tweet this out, I will tag them as well and thank them for posting their deck idea and that they did so well. Um, this is the tea table. That was just me turn to a Mew. Um, I'm Josh Hatter, and I will see you next time.